The BRICS alliance is poised for another round of expansion in the 2024 summit, which will be held in October in the Kazan region of Russia. This will mark the 16th summit of the BRICS, where new members such as the UAE, Egypt, Iran, and Ethiopia are expected to participate. A significant point of interest is whether Saudi Arabia will decide to join the alliance, as it has currently placed its invitation on hold. In 2024, the primary goal of the BRICS alliance is twofold expansion and de-dollarization. By inviting new countries to join, the bloc aims to expand its global influence. Additionally, it seeks to encourage developing countries to abandon the US dollar in favor of trading in local currencies for cross-border transactions. This strategy could significantly impact various sectors in the US if the BRICS countries successfully move away from the dollar for trade purposes. Interest in joining the BRICS alliance is growing among developing countries worldwide. As of April, around 40 countries have shown interest in joining the alliance this year. This was confirmed by Russia's State Secretary and Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Grigory Karasin, who mentioned that the number of applications for BRICS membership is steadily increasing each month. The majority of these countries are from Asia, Africa, and Latin America, many of which have weaker economies and see BRICS as a potential catalyst for regional upliftment. However, not all applicants will be accepted into the bloc, as the alliance seeks reciprocal benefits. Turkey's interest in BRICS reflects its broader strategic goals. Membership in BRICS aligns with Turkey's ambition to enhance its role and influence in various multilateral organizations. This move supports Turkey's goal of integrating into a coalition that seeks to reform global governance at a time when the legitimacy of institutions like the UN is increasingly questioned. BRICS membership could also act as a strategic counterbalance to Turkey's traditional alliances with Western powers, allowing it to pursue a more independent and assertive foreign policy. If you are enjoying this briefing please kindly take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. This enhanced geopolitical influence would strengthen Turkey's negotiating power within international organizations like the UN and the G20, thereby bolstering its global position. Domestically, the debate over BRICS membership in Turkey is dynamic and multifaceted, reflecting diverse perspectives and concerns. Proponents argue that membership could open significant economic opportunities such as increased trade, foreign investment, and market access, potentially stimulating economic growth. However, critics worry about the challenges of aligning Turkey's economic policies with those of BRICS countries, which may have different priorities and strategies. Skeptics also question whether the tangible benefits of membership will outweigh the costs of adapting to a new economic bloc. Geopolitically, BRICS membership could increase Turkey's influence in global affairs and create a more balanced foreign policy. Supporters believe that aligning with BRICS could help Turkey navigate its complex relationships with Western powers by providing alternative alliances and support. Conversely, opponents fear that closer alignment with BRICS could strain Turkey's relations with the West, including its NATO allies and the EU. Critics also argue that BRICS does not promote a normative agenda, which could undermine Turkey's aspirations to advocate certain norms and values in the international system. Regardless of whether Turkey's bid for BRICS membership materializes, the pursuit itself underscores its strategic ambitions and reflects the evolving landscape of its foreign policy. Turkey's heightened interest in BRICS stems from its desire to be part of the bloc's growing economic potential, which offers new opportunities for cooperation and development. During an official visit to China in early June, Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fedin expressed Turkey's pursuit of new opportunities for cooperation with different partners and platforms like BRICS. Fedin also attended the bloc's foreign minister's meeting in the Russian city of Nizhny Novgorod on June 10-11. Experts believe that while it is uncertain whether Turkey will join BRICS at this moment, as the economic bloc continues to grow, Turkey will want to benefit from the development opportunities it provides. Ali Oguz Dirios, an associate professor of international relations at Ankara's TOBB University of Economics and Technology, stated that BRICS is likely to dominate the global economy in the coming decades, and Turkey wants to be part of the opportunities the bloc presents in a multipolar world. He suggested that the participation of middle powers like Turkey could enhance BRICS's importance, as these nations seek a multipolar world order not dominated by superpowers. The global economy is increasingly leaning towards the South Pacific region, where growth is significantly higher, making it crucial for Turkey not to ignore these developments. However, Dirios emphasized that any potential decision to join BRICS would not be made in opposition to Europe, as Turkey is a long-standing member of NATO and European institutions. In early July, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan plans to attend the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SEO, summit in Astana, Kazakhstan.
As an observer state, Turkey has shown interest in becoming a member of the group in the past decade, though this aspiration has raised concerns in Western capitals. Erdogan is also expected to travel to Washington on July 9 to 11 to join a NATO summit celebrating the military alliance's 75th anniversary. Serkan Demiris, an Ankara-based foreign policy analyst and journalist, indicated that Erdogan's itinerary demonstrates Turkey's aspiration for multilateral influence. Demiris noted that Turkey aims to strengthen ties with Asia and participate in multilateral arrangements. Turkey's interest in BRICS is part of an economy-oriented diplomacy that seeks to capitalize on the growing economic power of Asia. Demiris argued that Turkey does not view BRICS as an alternative to the European Union, its primary economic partner. However, Turkey's frustration with the stall accession process with the European bloc prompts it to explore different options and alternative platforms. Turkey's good relations with both Russia and Ukraine could also play a catalyst role in its aspiration to move closer to BRICS. Political commentator Mele Altanak suggested that Turkey's potential membership, having proven itself as a unique mediator in the Ukraine crisis and as a bridge between the West and East, would contribute to BRICS. Foreign Minister Hakan Fedin highlighted the unique aspects of BRICS compared to the EU, noting that it includes all civilizations and races. He emphasized that if BRICS could become more institutionalized, it would yield significant benefits. Turkey's outreach to the BRICS club of major emerging nations, which includes Russia and China, signifies its growing frustration over the lack of progress in EU accession talks. Fedin mentioned that Turkey is holding talks and negotiations with BRICS countries, which are also undergoing evolution. He indicated that if the EU had the will to advance talks, Turkey's perspective on certain issues might differ. Ankara's effort to revive its bid to join the EU, one of its biggest trade partners, coincides with its pursuit of new alliances that could help expand its $1 trillion economy. BRICS, named after members Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, doubled in size at the start of 2024 with the inclusion of Iran, the UAA, Ethiopia, and Egypt. Other countries are planning to enter the group or are considering invitations to join. Turkey has long been a member of NATO and part of Europe's defense system but has faced numerous obstacles in its EU accession talks since they began in 2005. These obstacles include what the EU describes as Turkey's democratic shortcomings. Putin remarked on the lack of an economic alliance within NATO which contrasts with the military alliance. He stated that this gap has prompted Turkey's search for other alliances. Fidden's comments seem to encourage the EU to accelerate talks with Turkey as the country navigates an increasingly polarized world. President Erdogan has previously expressed interest in joining the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, a group set up by Russia and China as a rival to NATO. Erdogan plans to attend the CO meeting in Kazakhstan, and Fidden mentioned that Turkey might also apply for an upgraded dialogue partnership with the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. He noted that BRICS countries are developing a lending system and conducting trade among themselves in local currencies, which Turkey also favors. Fidden reiterated the distinct and inclusive nature of BRICS, suggesting that if it could become more institutional, it would yield significant benefits. The ongoing discussions about Turkey's potential BRICS membership and its strategic outreach to different alliances highlight the country's multifaceted approach to foreign policy and economic diplomacy. By exploring partnerships with BRICS and other international platforms, Turkey aims to position itself advantageously in the evolving global order while addressing its economic and geopolitical interests. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.